And I think one of the things that I was really trying to do, and again, I had, you know, when you research, I think there's this idea that like research is objective, um, you know, because it's history and you're looking at these objective things, but you, the researcher, aren't objective. So I will say that my tactic, if anyone's interested in coming at it, probably nonfiction does this too, but I think fiction can do this more because it's fiction. Um, I had such an agenda. I mean, I had such a focus of like, I, I want this to be an anti-war book. I want it to be a really queer book. I want it to be like an animal rights, in a way, almost Anthropocene book. And so that helped me because if I think I just went in looking at World War I to research, I would not be here on this event because I'd still be researching it. Um, I'm never gonna understand it that way, but having those two points of reference to kind of um, guide my research really helped. Um, and then I think, you know, I know we're not jumping to the audience questions yet, but I think somebody asked like, how long did you research? And I would say too, that something that I encourage people to think about is that I think sometimes, you know, there's like the research phase and the writing phase get presented as really discreet. And sometimes they are for some people. And I definitely have like a front heavy, like year of research before I start trying to write. But then I think they quickly become concurrent and like coextensive for me. Um, so I would say that in a way I never totally stopped. Hmm searching it as I was writing, so. Thank you. Can I just jump in and say the research in this book is, is wonderful, <laughs> Kathleen. And, and, <laughs> and also you. just, I'll just add that I, my, I, I, I totally agree that, that that feels like such a false dichotomy, at least the way that my brain works. I'm always writing and researching and I was researching and finding important stuff late in the process of this book. 